Welcome back to our YouTube channel guys, my name is Ardu and today's video is all about a VWT6 that we've been working on. This is part of a series called Behind the Sound where we're talking about what goes on actually behind the scenes. So you would have seen in previous videos that we've shown you a sound off video which goes through what actually you get from stock to what we've actually been putting into the car in terms of components, plus talking about soundproofing as well as other products. We're gonna give you a bit of a brief overview today's video and then talk about the tuning process and what that actually entails. So the system is all done, it's tuned, it sounds incredible. So we're gonna be talking about all of that in today's video. If you are new to our channel, haven't seen us before, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. And remember guys, we've got a massive competition live on our channel as well. We're giving away a brand new PlayStation 5 as well as an Auditor Prima 8.9 amplifier, which is exactly the same amplifier that we've got featured in today's video and in today's install. So in terms of the configuration, we've gone for a complete stock look. We've got tweeters that have gone into a stock location, which is the Auditor Voce AV 1.1s. Then inside the door, we've got the Auditor Voce six and a half inch woofers, all completely soundproofed in here, guys. It sounds really, really solid, but also building a far better environment for that speaker to work in. Underneath the seat, we've got an Audison Prima 10 inch sub, and that's all powered off two amplifiers, and that is a big part of today's video, the amplification setup. So we've got two amplifiers. One is an Audison Prima 8.9 amplifier, and the other is an Audison Forza Prima amplifier, which is a one channel monoblock amplifier, which is running the sub. So we're running a fully active system. What does a fully active system mean? Fully active system means that we've got each channel of amplification running directly to individual components. So we've got some of the tuning gear behind us here. So what I'm gonna be talking about is all about what's actually involved in a tuning process. So one big thing that we've got to be talking about is actually the way the amplifiers link into the system. So what a Prima amplifier does is it actually takes all of the dirty signals coming outputting from the factory radio. And this is the same on even aftermarket radios or any factory radio. Factory radios corrupt signals. They're basically sending out bad, bad signals over to speakers or to factory amplifiers, which messes the whole sound stage up in a vehicle. Reason why they do that is very obvious. Basically, because they're paper cone design on the speakers and the quality of the actual components themselves can't last very long with good, decent signal to them. That's why, generally speaking, you can never really add an aftermarket amplifier to factory speakers. Reason is, is because it make the speakers themselves and the components aren't up to the same quality or durability as an aftermarket speaker. So they end up just blowing. So it's very important that when we add an aftermarket amplifier in, what we're doing is taking all that dirty signal, and that's the advantage of having a processor. The processor sits in line of this. Processor allows us to clean that signal up, fix all of the issues. That then sends over to the amplifier. Amplifier then goes out directly to the new speakers, and that's where you get an amazing difference in sound. That's where you get the night and day difference, but also retaining that original look exactly like we've done in today's install. In terms of the processor, so the processor on this is part of Audison's product range, and it's actually built into the amplifier. So it's class D amplification of eight channels running at 85 watts per channel at four ohms. Plus, we've got a processor built into that as well. So it's a really nice compact design. You would have seen it featured on our RDR8 install that we've just completed live on our channel. Plus many, many other videos on our channel because it's a very, very neat bit of kit. Sits within a really nice price point, but also what it does is it has loads of functionality like the processing power, and it allows us to tune the system as well. So we use a couple of different products to actually get the system to where we are. In terms of getting a vehicle to sounding 100% correct, and how it should do to the best of its ability down to the actual components in the vehicle. There's certain elements of the tuning stage. To start off with, once the install's actually complete, the vehicle's back together, the initial kind of 5% that we get up to is basically making sure everything is safe. So when I say safe, what I, what I mean is we set filters and frequencies to make sure each component is doing exactly what we want it to do. The ability and the greatness about having a processor in line on a system like we've got on the Prima 8.9 is the ability to change every single component, especially when we're running fully active. We've got control over each tweeter, and that's separate tweeters left and right, as well as the six and a half inch drivers in the door. We've got a load of control. So part of that control is then allowing the actual speaker configuration to be set as frequencies, set filters, and then we move on to actually getting the EQ on. The EQ is then done all via the BitTune software. 
There's a bit of kit that we put into the vehicle that has microphones that are listening to all areas of the inside of the interior which makes a big, big difference because as good as our ears are when we're tuning a system by ear, it can't take into account the dashboard layout, the fact you might have something sat on the seats, you might have, um, you might have an air freshener in the car, for instance. All these little things do make a difference because sound waves are traveling all over the vehicle. They've got to land in a certain place. They want to be sounding so crisp, but also be performing as, much, as well as they possibly can do. And that's what this software does. It's got five microphones built into the system that actually allow the system, Bittune software, to listen to the car, listen to the speaker configuration, that all gets loaded up into a computer bit of computer software, part of the Audison profile. Once that's in there, that actually generates an automatic EQ from there. So that takes us literally to about 95% of the way getting to the car where it needs to be. And it honestly does sound absolutely incredible once you put software like this on. However, one thing that's very important when we're doing that is obviously as much as a great and however great any bit of computer software is, it's very important that it actually gets tuned by ear after as well. Because if you think about it, you're, when you're listening to a system, it's you when you're sitting in the car listening to it. Your ears might be different to my ears and your, what, your perception of sound will be different to what I like. So as much as the software gives us the ability to correct all of the issues from the factory system, what it actually does is gives us a really nice foundation to then tweak so we sit in the car after the bit tune's been done and we actually tune everything by ear, just changing little bits and pieces, bringing in the smoothness back into the electronic sound. And a lot of people think that analog systems sometimes sound better than digital systems. However, there's a lot more people that prefer the digital sound over the analog sound. However, one thing that we is put them back together. So we use all of the technology that we've got built into stuff like the Bitchude and the tools available to us. And then what we do is actually move that back into the analog stage as such. And we listen to the system by ear, making sure everything sounds absolutely incredible. Without these tools, we wouldn't be where we are today. It makes such a difference when building a system. However, we do take into account, obviously, the human element of it, making sure everything sounds exactly exactly how it should to the human ear rather than just to a microphone setup but it's a very important part of doing a system so hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video remember we've also got that competition live on our channel as well we're giving away exactly the same amplifier that we've got in the system today so that's the Audison Prima 8.9 amplifier as well as the fact we're giving away a brand new PlayStation 5 all you guys need to do is follow the details that is in the link for that is in the description below it's got all the details there so make sure you go check that out that's wicked prizes available for you guys completely free of charge as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube so so thank you very much for watching guys hopefully you've enjoyed another behind the sound episode on the vwt 6.1 thank you very much for watching we'll see you soon